Hello guys, this is Renman Up, and today we'll see a quick recap of what is going on on the world of Terra. Several wars have ended, with one of them being the Slugger and Blasovska War, with the Slug Journey coming out victorious. The Blasovskan general surrendered and gave Dmitry Malkovich to Slagerny as a prisoner. Although the war ended, several insurgent groups have risen in what is now known as the Oslagerland or East Slagerny. The Santa Cruz C1 war, one of the longest wars so far, has finally ended with the surrender of the Christian forces to the overwhelming Sigonese army. Not without helping the Queen and several government officials escape to Blackwood. Talking about Blackwood, it was enmeshed in a three-front war against Hachigor Empire, Xiyuan and Borkushian Kingdom. Despite the terrible odds, Blackwood managed to end the war standing thanks to the Empress Sarfaxis, who had enough of the bloodshed and reached out to all the nations and managed to reach the White Peace, maintaining the integrity of Blackwood. On the other end of the world, Arad and Bajabad were about to kill each other. But thanks to the CFN, or coalition, they were forced to find peace and avoid war. This kept Arad for about two weeks out of trouble when its leader, Chancellor Yalev, decided to send some PNCs along with Krakenbergs to Blasovska and help them against the Slugger. This was enough for the Aradian citizens who decided to rebel. So far, the casualties are high for the rebels, but so is the morale. Krokenberg on its end was looking for war all around until previous president, Sigmund Fons, had a heart attack and died in his office at the age of 35. Vice President Carlos Schmidt took over and immediately pulled out of all conflicts and sought peace. Bajabad was still healing from the wounds that Arab caused when, out of nowhere, East Heaven attacked Mobuluka Island. The Bajabadian army was taken by surprise, but managed to stop their advance. However, so far, they have not been able to reclaim the lost territory, which is now known as the Republic of Ise. And last but not least, Montion is almost, almost, almost free of puppets. They are just facing the remaining ones. Although the remaining ones are able to use guns and have taken out a Mercurian helicopter that was carrying a bioweapon... Yeah, damn. The pilot is reported to be alive though, and he took the bioweapon and is trying to reach the MDF at the moment. So, good luck to him. And that's it for today's recap. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.